five, though, we are watching the tropics and the advisories being issued at this hour. The system in the Gulf is expected to bring significant rainfall over the next several days. Right now, crews are out there. They're cleaning out drains and they're lowering canals in areas that are prone to flooding. WPTV First Alert Meteorologist Steve Wigo standing by with the critical timing of all this weather headed our way, Steve. Yes, this is now a potential tropical cyclone number one, and I should start off by saying this is not a depression, not a storm, but it has the potential of developing into either one of those as it moves closer to South Florida. It just means that we have now advisories, we have a comb, we have a track, and we have a flood watch in effect for Palm Beach County. Here's the very latest. Uh, it just came out about 30 seconds ago. It's moving north at five, so it's on the northern tip of the Yucatan, and uh, there is some interaction with land going on here and quite a bit of wind shear. So in the short term, it is expected to stay weak. 40 mile an hour winds as we get into Friday afternoon, 2 p.m. Moving through the Gulf of Mexico, likely a landfall that would be Saturday, 2 p.m. At this point, though, because it's still fairly disorganized, almost all of the rainfall and a lot of the strong gusty winds are to the east of it as it uh, makes that landfall. And then it rolls across South Florida, winds at uh, 45 miles an hour. That's Sunday morning before sunrise and then off into the North Atlantic after that. You can see it is expected to become a tropical storm as it moves across Florida and then eventually up the East Coast. So what's the timeline for us? Well, the heavy rainfall will develop overnight and tomorrow. We have that flood watch. It kicks in at midnight tonight for Palm Beach County. Uh, this model, the Vipercast model, pulls a lot of the rainfall out quickly on Saturday afternoon. Uh, Sunday looking much brighter and definitely the drier day of the weekend. Here's another look at the timeline. So there's Friday morning, the leading edge working in. Now these are uh, outer squalls of this uh, potential tropical cyclone continuing to push rain north during the afternoon. It it intensifies Friday night and early Saturday. Some big, big range of tropical downpours, uh, which can cause a flooding threat very quickly. We could see upwards of five to eight inches of rain, maybe even locally higher amounts before it's all said and done. This is the Euro model. It brings in about four, three to five inches of rain. And I tell you the, the, the computer models tracking rainfall uh, it's problematic and it's very easy to get double that in some spots. So watch out. Flooding is an issue with this uh, potential storm. All right, so here are the highlights. Flood watch now in effect midnight through Sunday morning for Palm Beach County. Uh, Tropical storm Alex is possible out of this and flooding threat all weekend for Palm Beach County. 6 a.m. The rain squall is beginning going to be a tricky morning commute, but it just continues to intensify right into Friday night begins to taper off on Saturday morning. As far as uh, Treasure Coast, 6 a.m., clouds and showers. But by the noon hour, we get those outer squalls working in, intensifying through Friday, Friday night, and into Saturday, later in the day, it starts to improve.